All right, Victorum Gaming fans, we're back with another unboxing video here for Blood and Plunder. Uh, we got uh, this is another one of our uh, things that we got in our recent order here. So this is another one of the special characters for the French, uh, Laurens de Graaf, um, which is I think if I remember his story right, uh, he was actually Dutch, um, so that kind of hints at the name there. But um, we'll be right back after we get this guy open, and then uh, stay tuned. All right, we're back, and we got Laurens de Graaf on package here, so. Um, pretty easy. Uh, it's a hero, um, so there's obviously just the one mini uh, to deal with, and again, uh, no assembly required uh, with any of the stuff from Firelock. A um, couple of small things to trim off here and clean up, but by and large, no um, no mole lines, nothing really deformed or anything, nothing to deal with. So basically, we're ready to uh, get cleaned up, primed, and painted uh, right out of the box. Really cool detail too. Um, so basically, he's got uh, looks like he's packing a sword, and then his um, like a pistol, I think, as well. So a couple pistols. So, um, and then with heroes, you actually get like a card um, that goes with them. So, um, so a couple things about him here. So he may lead uh, Flibustiers de Graaf, uh, French Buccaneers, and French Royal Navy. Uh, got a pretty hefty command range of 20 inches there. Comes with three command points. So uh, he's actually got a brace of pistols, um, standard melee weapon, and then some very cool special rules. Uh, Sailing Master, Swordsman, Expert broadside, very inspiring and felicitous. So um, he is going to be really good if you're playing with the actual boats, basically. Um, so anything that's like ship to shore or ship to ship, he's definitely going to stand out for you. But he could certainly lead an infantry force, too. So his special rule, Sailing Master. A unit that includes a Sailing Master may spend an action to attempt to increase the ship's speed. Uh, on a 5+, plus, um, the ship may increase or decrease its speed by an inch the next time it moves only. This increase is allowed even if it would exceed the ship's top speed and critical hit is taken as a result. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, swordsman, models that take fight actions against this unit using standard melee weapons apply a plus one penalty to the fight test. This penalty is only applied to the attacking unit if all defending units have this special rule. Uh, and then uh, another naval focus one here, expert broadside really. Uh, or more naval focused. Um, all artillery fired during his activation may be fired simultaneously. Additionally, if a one is rolled for any critical hit or lucky uh, hit that is scored during a broadside, it may be re-rolled. So um, basically getting you better results there. Uh, very inspiring is another awesome ability, especially considering his hefty command range. All friendly units within the command range may re-roll any failed rally tests. So that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Again, a 20-inch bubble extending from him is pretty generous. That covers a lot of the board. Um, Felicitous is also really cool. Uh, if a force that includes this commander begins a turn with no fortune points, you immediately gain one. So, um, so, you know, if you happen to run out and you spent your fortune points, um, no big deal. Um, uh, start of your turn as long as, again, assuming he's alive, right, um, you're, you're going to gain one back. So, um, not bad at all. So, overall, really cool little commander for the French. Um, and we've got also, uh, Francois Lolle, or Lone, or however we want to pronounce his name. Um, and he's, uh, definitely pretty, uh, beefy himself. Um, but yeah, uh, nice little pickup here for our French forces. Uh, I'm going to get him cleaned up, get him painted, and, um, then hopefully into action soon. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, also give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Again, check out um, Blood and Plunder from Firelock Games. Really cool stuff. Small skirmish game um, with uh, the option to actually include ships um, set in the you know, Golden Age Piracy. Um, lots of different factions available. Um, and uh, uh, again, the game uh, is not going to be hard on your wallet either. Um, so uh, really cool stuff. And the minis are great too. So um, other than that, stay tuned for more content for Blood and Plunder. And have a good day.